Today we're speaking with Joe Fischella of Blue Lake Wealth Advisors. Hello, Joe. Tell us a little bit about your business and a little bit about your background. Sure. Um, I started in this business as a financial advisor with uh, Morgan Stanley in uh, 1996. Uh, I moved over here to Burr Ridge in 2016 after about 20 years working for the big companies. I started Blue Lake Wealth Advisors. And since then, we've had about six other advisors join me here in Burr Ridge. Wonderful. It's a great history for the short amount of time you've actually been doing it. And I imagine today there's a lot of uncertainty because of COVID-19. It seems like we've had some shifts in the economy. Market's been going up and down. Give us an idea of what you see as the cause of what's going on in the market right now. So in any crisis, initially, there's a scare and there's a sell-off and the market drops. And so as of the middle of March, some of the indexes like the S&P were down as much as 25%. After the government stepped in with the $2 trillion relief package, it sort of changed everything and the market rebounded rather quickly. Right now, the S&P is sitting at around uh, minus 10% for the year. Well, to just a follow up on that, Joe, in April, the government announced the CARE Act. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, Part of the CARES Act was a $350, million, $350 billion set aside for small business, which basically was supposed to be for companies with 500 or fewer employees. They were supposed to be able to apply for these loans to help cover payroll and about 25% of their overhead. Um, there was a bit of a problem with it because there was a huge demand for these loans and ran out of money fairly quickly. And what they found was that a number companies who had other access to money kind of uh, found loopholes in the in this in this act and applied for a lot of this money so you heard on the news companies like uh, Ruth Chris and Shake Shack were getting nine million dollars and they were asked to give it back so that small more mom and pop type businesses could survive uh, they recently again, just passed an addition to this to get an additional you know hundreds of uh, billions of dollars to these people I know there's some concerns with people overall, just on the consumer level, the unemployment level's gotten way out of hand. There's food lines right now. What do you think is actually going to be going on in the, in the financial market for the consumers today? Well, there's a couple things different, and, and I think it, it, it kind of stems from the fact that in 2008, 2009, that crisis, which was largely a real estate crisis, really hit people pretty hard. So going into this, the consumer in the U.S., actually had a lot less debt than they did in 2008, 2009. So I think it's allowing some people the, to be a little bit more prepared. But there, like, like any crisis, there were you know, shortages of toilet paper, which everyone joked about, and shortages of stuff like uh, eggs and milk and kind of like pantry items as well. On the uh, food side, I mean, there's always going to be that percentage of the population that's going to be largely hit hard by this, and it's going to be our poorest people. So I think that that's what a lot of these other like protections, like the unemployment insurance, they enhanced it and they made it bigger and, and they're going to need it because there's over 25 uh, million people filing for unemployment right now. So Joe, I know this year there's been an extension in the tax filing deadline. That's July 15th. Is that correct? July 15th is the new tax filing deadline or when you file your taxes if you had an extension. So part of the filing deadline means that you can get an IRA funded. So for 20. 19 still, you can put in $6,000 if you're younger than 50, 7,000 if you're older than 50. So if you hadn't funded your prior year or 2019 IRA, you still have time to do that. So part of that uh, rule, rule changes also applies to this year's required minimum distribution. So for people that are older, 70 and a half prior to last year when they made it 72, you are uh, you are getting a waiver where you don't have to take your money out of your retirement account if you are already in that required minimum distribution age. They're letting you uh, waive that till next year. You know, we're in an election year. Typically in election year, the market's relatively strong. What do you see going on? Kind of typical volatility, I think, will continue through November, especially because the, the election will probably be very uh, aggressive, to say the least. Uh, so we'll probably see a lot more fluctuation in the markets. You're right, 90 percent of uh, or 90 plus percent of election years, the markets are net positive. So that means we'd have to recover from this where we're sitting today, which is down over 10 percent. So hopefully that continues and we end the year at least uh, getting back that 10 percent. What do you see ahead as 
a good market here? So like the Zoom technology you and I are using right now, we, we used it in the past for, for clients that you know, were out of state and for you know, various meetings across the country. Um, I, I think it's here to stay. And I think e-learning is going to be here to stay, especially for a lot of the large universities. So right now, you know, I have two children. I have a seven-year-old and a 13-year-old that every, every morning start their day right now logging into a classroom, essentially, online. And this e-learning has been around for a while, and there are people that use it even for homeschooling. Um, colleges have been doing it for a number of years, and most of the colleges have jumped in with this to keep people like on pace to graduate or on pace to earn their credits for the various semesters. I think that's here to stay. I would just say that I think that the, the big areas that we're going to see uh, over the next couple of years is going to be a lot more um, online banking, a lot more online learning, a lot more online doctor visits, which are happening like crazy right now. So anyone who has tried like the teledoc system, where you basically go on an iPad like this and you see your physician, uh, I, I think we're going to see a ton more of that because for people who have like a common cold, it's worse for them to go into an office and sort of infect other people. They'll be doing this teledoc with, you know, possibly I saw it yesterday that UPS is partnering with the drugstores to in Florida to drop packages with drones. So they're going to be basically dropping people's prescriptions to them with drone technology. So, I mean, that's another kind of thing we're going to probably get used to in the coming years now. I mean, it looks pretty obvious to me and other people I've spoke to that, the technology is where it's at and some businesses will be affected by that even more in terms of downsizing or in terms of more people working from home. It seems a lot of people have gotten used to working outside the office. Yeah. I mean, a lot of salespeople worked from home before this, but I think what companies are seeing is a lot of their workforce can work from home pretty well. And so you're, I, I think you will see a contraction in large offices. But one other kind of flip to this is that, Old school companies like Clorox and Kraft and Smuckers have done extremely well during this because people are seeing the value of having packaged goods that you can, you know, kind of keep in a pantry for, for times when you don't want to leave the house. So Kraft, Kraft Foods has a huge plant down in Champaign-Urbana that's been working 24 hours a day right now to keep up with the demand for Kraft macaroni and cheese. A lot of great insight there, Joe, and I really appreciate your time today. If people want to reach out to you and ask you some questions or perhaps get some help, how do they do that? Well, I mean, they can start at our website, bluelakewealth.com. Our phone number is 630-686-3900. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time today. It's been an interesting conversation. It always will be when you talk finances. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Al. Thanks for sharing this time with me. If you have information to share on local connections, send us an email to local at lkmedia.com. Thank you for watching.